But then as soon as we started finding exoplanets, I mean, one of the first type of exoplanets we found was these hot Jupiters. So these are Jupiter-sized planets, which are about 20 times closer to their star than Mercury is around the sun. And when those were first announced, nobody believed them. People were like, you can't, you can't get a Jupiter there. Like, Jupiter's supposed to be 5 AU. How do you get it parked on, almost onto the surface of the star? It doesn't make any sense. No, none of the planet formation models could explain that. And it took until we found about 10 of them in a row that people started slowly changing their minds. And the proof of the pudding was when one of them eclipsed its star. So one of them actually passed right in front of the star, oh. right at the moment it was supposed to, and we saw an eclipse. And when that happened, everyone was like, all right, it, this is this is real but then we had to figure out how the hell do you do that so there was a long there was a long skeptical curve to get to that point and now we think the way to make those things is there's probably jupiters on the outside of the solar system they come too close to each other they gravitation like kind of wrestling almost they kind of excite each other one of them gets kicked out in a random direction and it can get flung into a highly eccentric orbit and a highly eccentric orbit over time will circularize. So it doesn't want to stay on an eccentric orbit. It wants to turn into a circle through the tidal interactions with the star. So these things probably circularize really close onto their stars.